la 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 What's up guys? Kevin here from Relax and Learn Guitar, where I help music lovers over 40 become the guitar players they've always wanted to be. With my easy to follow lessons, I see it every day, folks proving you're never too old to learn. In this lesson, I'm going to show you three songs. What are those three songs have in common besides being great tunes? Just five chords to play on all three of those songs. We're going to cover the uh, kind of basic strum pattern for these. Once you're done watching this lesson, you can click the link in the pinned comment below. Check out my free resource. You can grab these three complete lessons with the kind of full version, including like the more advanced strum patterns, chord diagrams, and the tablature for free. So check out that link in the description. I'm sorry, in the comments below when you finish up this lesson. I really like having songs in my back pocket that I know pretty well because because you know anytime you've got that guitar or someone's around and they say hey play us something on that shiny guitar you don't want to kind of fumble and not really know what to do yet so I like having a little uh, you know plan so these three songs are a good way to kind of start that so let's get started with these so the first song is knocking on heaven's door this is the Bob Dylan version one of my favorites. You need to know four chords for this song. A G, a C, a D, and an A minor. Now we're gonna start with some simple quarter notes, just four down strums, nice and steady. One, two, three, four. Your foot's going to be tapping, so tap that foot, and it uh, hits the ground on those uh, whole numbers. One, two, three, four. So the intro is a G, two times strumming, D, C for four. So that G and that D split the measure. That's why they just get the two down strums. You can add in the U. The structure for the song is very similar to that intro. It starts with a G to a D to an A minor. So you have Mama take this badge off of me. Two, three, four, G. I can't D it anymore to a C. G. It's getting D too dark to A minor. on heaven's door then into the chorus knock knock knocking on heaven's door I'm gonna say it here just to add some interest we're gonna speed up our strums a little bit we're doing one two three four and we're gonna do eighth notes one and two and three and four and it starts on that G again knock knock knocking on heaven's door same pattern that G and the D split the measure, so they actually just get the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then A minor gets all of those eight counts. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door to a C. Repeats G, D, A minor, G, D, C. with that you can play that entire tune so if you've ever like fretted about knowing a song all the way through like you know bits and pieces here is a great one to learn all the way through and entertain your friends and family with if you like this lesson you'll probably like more of my lessons would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the youtube channel here come back often check out the lessons and the live streams that we do we work hard to bring these to you so you can relax and learn some guitar and subscribing would really help us keep doing that so thank you Next up, we have a little Marshall Tucker band in Can't You See. Similar chords for this one, right? Five chords covering all these tunes. So you have a D, a C, 
and a G. And that's it for this one. So it starts on a D. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do this uh, quarter notes. One, two, three, four. All down strums nice and steady. Starts on a D. Gonna take a freight train. C. Down at the station. G. I don't care where it D. Gonna climb a mountain. C. The highest mountain, Lord G. Gonna jump off, nobody gonna D. Can't you see? Can't you see? What that woman been doing to me? And then for that chorus, just to add some interest, one and two and three and four and, and the progressions, the D, C, G, D. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So each of those chords get two of those strum patterns and you've pretty much got the entire song there uh, doing those quarter notes for the verse. And then speeding it up a little bit for the chorus. So have fun with that one. So if you're ready to learn seven more songs using just four chords and one strum pattern, then stick around to the end of the lesson and I'll show you how to do that. And for song number three, we have a little Van Morrison and Brown Eyed Girl. Some all very similar chords here. You got a G, a C. A D. And this one he throws in an E minor. And we're going to start with kind of the faster strum pattern for this one. Instead of those uh, quarters, we're going to start with that one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So for the chord progression for this one, we're going to go from a G to a C, a G back to a D. That's pretty much the first part of this uh, verse. Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came. G and a C. G and a new D. Life and a C. Hey, hey, G. Life and a D. The misty morning fog. So the part that he goes and you is to a C, to a D, brown I G, E minor, C, U my D, brown I girl, G. Do you remember when we used to sing sha la 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 da. So if this one is a, a good one to kind of keep track of those chord changes with. One thing you can do for this chord uh, change on all of them, that last up strum, so we're doing one and two and three and four and, that last up strum. You can use that up strum as the time to take to change the chord. You can actually strum up on the strings without fretting any of them. Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came. So really slow. G. Last up strum. Don't strike or don't fret any of the strings, and then you have time to go to your next chord. And that's another fun one to add to your set list here and have uh, 
something in your back pocket that you can pull out with all three of these songs. So like I said, if you want to click in the link in the comments below, you can grab that free resources with the printouts for all the tablature, the chord diagrams, get those complete lessons uh, with the even more advanced drum patterns that are used in the songs. And uh, if you want to learn seven more songs and you get these three under your belt, check out this video where I show you how exactly to do that with just four chords and one strum pattern. Remember, you are never too old to learn, and I will see you guys for the next lesson. La, 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 la.